Well, here he is, Jean-Jacques Rousseau's ideal. Young child in a landscape. Uh, his name's Louis Cage. And he's posing with his cricket bat, an early form of cricket bat. Far more difficult to bowl out in those days, I think. And the first thing you notice is the scale of it. This was an important painting. It's an important year, 1768, the founding of the Royal Academy. And this painting was probably in the very first Royal Academy summer show. So Francis Coates, the artist, had a message here. He was establishing himself in the forefront of British art. And it, it drew a lot of attention. Lots of things jump out at you here. Yes, the boy is relaxed. He's not buttoned up. In fact, he's ostentatiously unbuttoned his uh, top. Everything is loose. His clothing is loose and easy for, for him to play in. His shirt is undone. His collar is not tied. His sock, disgracefully, is falling down, revealing his knee. And his breeches are undone. So, a bit disheveled, really. But there's a joke here as well. And if you remember that Jean-Jacques Rousseau was saying, children left to themselves, untrammeled by adult restrictions, out in the landscape playing, will learn their life lessons. Very important. So in a game, a frivolous game that means nothing, they will learn things that will make the adult. And Coates has indicated this with an iconographical joke, if such a thing exists, because Lewis Cage has adopted a particular posture, and anyone who knew their Van Dyck would have recognized it. 17th century state portraits, the sitter would often adopt this pose. If you wanted to paint an admiral or a general, they would stand there like this, and they'd have their hand on their sword. Louis XIV, the most famous image of all from the 17th century of a great monarch, takes up exactly this posture, hand on hip, arm on cane. It indicated power. So Louis Cage, with his cricket bat, is indicating in future, the kind of role he will play as an adult. <laughs>